So on today's vlog, I am doing what's called guerrilla style filmmaking. <laughs> so guerrilla style filmmaking is when you go onto a location uh, where you're not supposed to be in order to get shots that you're technically not supposed to have. When you're going to businessy places and things of that nature, a lot of times they don't want you filming in their stores or in their places without having permission. And so, like, it's one of those situations where uh, you get in trouble if you get caught. And if it's for, like, something big, like TV show or something like that, then they're going to be asking for some money. And a lot of times in places like this, like a grocery store, uh, you have people who are going to be looking for they paychecks. But in guerrilla style filmmaking, you just sneak in, do what you're doing, and then slide out without... You know, make it too big of a scene. Uh, one of the key factors is don't stay there too long. Um, people start getting suspicious of who you are, what you're doing, especially if you're like me and I'm black <laughs> in Alabama. So I draw a lot of attention and I'm just kind of standing around, just talking to myself. People don't see that I have a wireless microphone and I'm talking to a camera. Most times people can't even see the camera because it's kind of like propped up there and they're more so focused on me than the actual camera in the, around me or around the area. So, I don't know. Um, I'm definitely gonna pursue more guerrilla style filmmaking tactics in the future and hopefully uh, get some shots that I don't deserve <laughs> without having to pay whole bunches of money. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, also, I'm gonna try to keep distinguishing factors out of those, out of my footage. So you don't really know who or what grocery store you're in or what location you're in you're doing stuff in and um, I think that's one of the keys of also not getting in trouble. It's only a little bit of trouble if you get caught. And you only get in trouble if you were like making money. Most times it's just take the stop though. But um yeah like doing this kind of gives you a, like gives me at least a new perspective on like certain things I want to do in the future for like future films and things of that nature. Um, just getting on location is already hard enough um, without having like the tools needed to kind of do what you want to do. Especially with me, with no money, bam, I'm being put into uh, the actual craft of the filmmaking. Um, well, I'm not, I'm not putting the money into location. I'll tell you that now. Nah, that's not happening. But um, definitely gonna see like where it would be my money best invested in. All right. I'm gonna sit plop down right here. So the whole reason why I'm in a grocery store in the first place is that I am giving somebody a ride from work. So, they're getting off a little bit later than they anticipated. And that's okay. Because now it gives me time to talk to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you done? Oh, cool. I'm just going to sit here and eat this cake and talk to my camera. You don't even know where it is, do you? That's the important part. <laughs> the people don't know where the camera is. When they don't know where the camera is, they don't know you're talking to it, and they don't get in trouble for filmmaking, or film making videos where you don't belong. I'm still trying to figure out a format for this thing. I haven't quite figured out exactly what I want to do with the vlog yet, or how I want to format it. I know I said that I'm making this vlog for me. And it's kind of like a, mm, some good cake. It's kind of like a, um, a video diary. But at the same time though, I don't want it to look like trash either. So, I'm gonna format it in a way where it looks good. And also, that gives me a bit of practice when it comes to filmmaking. Now I'm sitting in the middle of a grocery store eating cake on the floor. <laughs> I'm a grown man. <laughs> I 
this cake has something in it that's crunchy and I don't like it. I think it's cookie though. It's called carnival cake. I mean, it's good. Maybe because I was just craving something sugar in it. But at the same time. I feel like I'm crunching on sugar and something. <laughs> so by the way, I did pay for this cake already. I'm not just grabbing stuff off the shelf and eating it. Although, when I was little, I do remember my mom getting stuff out the store. <laughs> like putting, like while we walk around the store, she have her little snack. And she'll be eating it. I know she's gonna see this too. She have her little snack, she's gonna be eating her little snack. And I'll be like, Mom, you can't do that. You gotta pay for it first. She taught me as long as I pay for the packaging at the end, then it's still okay. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Anywho, it makes me super happy to vlog though, especially in places I don't supposed to be vlogging at. I'm hanging out, doing my thing. So like I said though, I just don't want the vlog to look bad, you know? I don't want it to just look like trash. You don't have to duck the camera, it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes when people notice you have a camera, they want to be like, oh my God, it's a camera. So they like duck around and stuff, like, oh, there you go. We saw you that time. When people start ducking and dodging your camera, that's probably when you probably should leave the grocery store or wherever you're filming at, where you're not supposed to be filming at. Because they'll start talking to the manager and start like telling people, like, hey, you know, all that good stuff. So we'll figure it out together what this vlog's gonna look like. Anyway, now I have to leave, like I said. When you start walking from your camera, you gotta go.